about the release of the or the 50 in that. So that's ketoprofen versus ketoprofen. You might say that you have a higher dose for the rats to be killed compared to the ketoprofen as for IV. Uh, oral higher dose. You need a higher dose to kill the rats compared to to ketoprofen. Next. So GI side effects, uh, dexketoprofen has a lesser percentage of GI events. Next. A case a control study for GI bleed. Uh, as we see here, we have these uh, drugs common in our country, aspirin, declofenac, ibuprofen, nafoxen, ketorola. So as you can see, the values are relatively lower. 16 compared to 591, 60, 33, and 52. So safer for upper GA bleeding. Next. So there, there is an issue with coccyps and cardiovascular risk. No? So as we all know, prostocycline or prostaglandin is a potent vasodilator. And this uh, Prostaglandin is being blocked by COX-2 inhibitors. So, wala na siyang vasodilator property. Now, uh, thromboxane, which is observed by COX-1, uh, is also a pro-aggregant and vasoconstrictor. So, if you do not, if you do not block the COX-1, you have more thromboxane and more plate aggregation and vasoconstriction and this lead to cardiovascular events so that's why in the first batch of coccyps like rocky coccyp they pull it out because of higher incidence of uh, of cardiovascular events like myocardial infarction so that we can say the cox2 are not really safe next as far as the, uh, cardiovascular events. So, uh, the contraindication for this drug are those patients who had stroke, myocardial infarction, cabbage, hypertension, and congestive heart failure. Next. So, how this given is given IM uh, or intravenous slow infusion in 10 to 30 minutes. But I usually give it an hour or two to my patients. And it should be protected from uh, natural daylight. Uh, for bolus, it can be given slow IV in less than 15 seconds. But as, uh, I require my nurses to inject it in about uh, two to three minutes. Next. So in current developments regarding this drug, there has been a study combining dexcatoprofen and uh, Tramadol in Europe, and uh, its phase one study involved interactions and tolerability. Phase two, its efficacy versus uh, placebo, ibuprofen, and its phase three, its efficacy in post hepatoplasty. So started last year until this year. So there's also a study in Turkey in a university using this combination of uh, NSAID and uh, opioid in post laparoscopic cholecystectomy patients at the dose of dexgetoprofen 100 milligrams and tramadol 600 milligrams. So that was about uh, uh, four years ago. Next. So to summarize, uh, dexgetoprofen is a novel, novel NSAID which offer more potent analgesic effect with lesser side effects. Uh, its preparation to metamol salt provides rapid and efficacious analgesic effects. Uh, the product pr uh, provides better flexibility in dosing, shifting from IV to oral, and drug combinations like uh, dexcaptoprofen and tramadol shows promising development. I think that's the end of my slide. And I uh, hope everybody will attend the media convention in Davao. Thank you.
Bawang ikaw magmadari. Bawang. Ang dosaging ng ano? Ang kito? Kites. The recommended dose for IV for post-op is 50 milligrams QV. So, but you, my practice is before closing. For example, if the patient has has received a neuraxial block, no spinal or epidural, I usually inject it IM. Because uh, I my, my practice before was I mix uh, dexketoprofen with oxytocin sa mga CS. Tapos somebody uh, uh, somebody to call the attention a clinical pharmacist that it is not a good practice because of the interaction of oxytocin and um, dexketoprofen. May ano daw yung Precipitate, but actually, hindi ko nakita. One liter kasi. But it's not good practice. So I shifted my practice from incorporation to IM. Doon sa anesthetized na portion para hindi masakit. So after that, I take note of the time given, then count eight hours after for the next dose. So I usually give three doses of IM or IM. I am muna, tapos IV drip. After that, shift to oral. The oral is 25 milligrams QA, one hour prior to meals. Yes? So, uh, is there a big difference in its efficacy if it's given by IV bolus or by IV I mean, uh, Efficacy? Yeah. Uh, as far as efficacy is concerned, it's the same. Ah, it's because of the pain. When you give the keto next keto program IV, if you do it fast, it's painful. Oh well, if you give it at the OR setting where the patient is sedated, practically the patient will not feel any pain. Of course, this this can be experienced in the ward. Yes, yes, yes. But as far as efficacy, I think there's no there's no difference. It's just a matter of in. Siguro uh, that the same. problem about infusion is it will entail additional cost to the patient because we'll be using, we'll yes. be using another line and Actually, another if, if, you're go, if you're using only D5LR or plain LR or plain NSS, you can just incorporate, incorporate it. That, that's fine. Uh, it is compatible to all, D5LR. All I'm not sure if it is all, but in its product literature, it's compatible with D5LR or plain LR. Or plain NSS. Compatible? Yes, compatible. Yes. Let's say, kung triangulus na incorporate mo, tapos sira nung 4-24 hours po, pwede ba? Or every 8 hours talaga mo? To run in 24 hours, yes. Pwede. Ang problema na nun, baka mag-pastip-pastip. Oh, yun. Make sure that you regulate it exactly. Or, ibang ang it? Yes. Yes. Maganda. Yes, can you incorporate it with uh, with tramadol? Yes, they they are compatible. They are compatible. Yes, there has been studies in Europe that uh, they did a compatibility test with tramadol and it's compatible. Compatible, but in some situations, yeah, but about the oxytocin. You know, you question about the oxytocin. But we we try the, you know.